for today's video, I will show you how to import the chart of accounts with its beginning balances to QuickBooks. So this is my Excel file. And I separated the asset accounts, liability accounts, and the income statement accounts into different sheets so I can import them separately to QuickBooks. For the contents of my Excel file, it has the account type, the account numbers, the account name, the balances, and then the as of date for the balances. The account types should be exactly the same spelling as what we have in QuickBooks. This is our chart of accounts. And then when we add a new account, it will ask you to choose the account type. So it should be the same spelling there. And then the account numbers. The account numbers has a maximum of, of seven alphanumeric characters. The account name has a maximum of 31 alphanumeric characters. And for us to encounter an error, I purposely made this account to be more than 31 characters. And then the beginning balances should be two decimal places, but I will purposely create this account with four decimal places so that we can encounter an error. And then the as of date should be in date numeric format. Okay, so I will close this so that we can import this to QuickBooks. Okay, so this is our chart of accounts. And we click this, choose import from Excel, and we're going to navigate to the location of the file. And then the, we're going to select the assets sheet. And then we're going to check this. This data file has header rows and we will create a mapping. The mapping will tell you where the data for QuickBooks is located in your Excel file. So I will name this mapping as assets one. And the, the import type is account. So the type, the account type is in the type column. The number is in the account numbers column. The name is in the account name column. And then the opening balance is in the balance column as of date preview of our import. And as you can see, we have three errors, which is 5% of the file. We can filter this data so that it will only show the errors. The first error is for the Banco de Oro. So it has an invalid amount. As what I've mentioned, it will only accept two decimal places. So. Let's correct that. For this one, the field contains more text than is allowed. As what I've mentioned, QuickBooks only accepts up to 31 characters. So let's correct this. The third one is the same error. It exceeds 31 characters. So we will fix this, okay? Right there. Let's preview again. So we don't have errors anymore and it's time to import. Let's skip the backup. I'll click yes here so we can import the data. All right, so there are accounts that already exist in QuickBooks. I will replace the existing data with my import data. Apply to all. There's an error, but I will not save the log error. All right, so it's already there. Let me check our balance sheet report if we are balanced with our Excel file. Reports, company and financial, balance sheet standard. The date is 131. Okay. So the total assets is 57,164,050.5. Okay, this is our Excel file. So it's the same, 57,164,050.47. So it means that we have successfully imported our asset accounts with its beginning balances. All right, so let's import our liability accounts. We have the account type, account numbers, account name, balance, and the as of date for the beginning balances. Let's close this. And then go to QuickBooks, chart of accounts, account, and then import from Excel. 
and then let's browse to the location of the file and select the sheet and then we have the liability account mapping let's preview okay very good we don't have any errors so let's import all right it will ask you to back up the data so but we'll continue with the import all right so import is finished 18 records have been imported and no errors click ok all right let's check the balance sheet report the date is 131 and let's go to our liability account okay so 27 million let's check our excel file 27,106,553.01. Let's check. Okay, so it's exactly the same. 27,106,553.01. Okay, very good. In importing the accounts to QuickBooks, we don't import the accounts receivable, the, in, the inventory asset account, and the accounts payable account. The reason for that is because uh, for the accounts receivable, we need to include the details of each invoice. We need to put in the customer name, the invoice numbers, the invoice details, the terms, and the amount. That's the same case with the accounts payable. And then for the inventory asset accounts, we also need to include the, the exact names of the inventory the quantity on hand, the cost, and the total value of each inventory item. There will be a separate kind of import for those accounts. All right, so next is we're going to import the income statement accounts. For the income statement account, it doesn't have the balance total and the as of date. So we only have the account type, the account numbers, and the account name. Okay, let's close this. And then let's close the chart of accounts. Open it again so we can create a fresh import. Import from Excel. It's the same file, but we will go to the income statement sheet. And let's create a new mapping. is so that data goes to the type column number goes to the account numbers column then the name goes to the account name column so these are the only columns that we have in our excel file i'll click save and then preview okay so very good we don't have any errors i'll click import and i will not create a backup copy i will continue with the import yes so there are other data existing in QuickBooks, so I will replace the existing data with my import data, like to all. Okay, so there are errors, it's only one, so I won't save the log error. I will just check the chart of accounts for the error. Let's check if the income and the expense accounts are already there and the cost of goods sold. Mm -hmm. So it's there. Okay, so we have successfully imported the chart of accounts with the beginning balances. It has the account numbers, the account name, and the balance total and the account type. Okay, so our next video will be importing the accounts receivable, opening balances, the accounts payable, and the inventory asset accounts. For more QuickBooks tutorials, tips, and tricks, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.